prostration of forgetfulness or sajda sao is a set of two prostrations performed to correct the mistake committed in prayer, salah, namaz, due to forgetfulness. This set of sajda is obligatory for a mistake or doubt in wajib obligatory steps of salah. We humans are forgetful by nature and even forget when we are praying to Allah. Allah knows well His creators, so He teaches us how to cover these deficiencies in salah. Allah made Prophet, peace be upon him, forget on some occasions in namaz, and he shows us how to correct our mistakes. Satan, our enemy, doesn't want us to pray. That's why he makes us in doubt, sometimes in prayer. When we perform prostration as taught by Prophet PBUH, these prostrations will embarrass Satan for his wicked actions. That's why he makes us in doubt sometimes. Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, R.A., narrated that, the Prophet, Pibuj, said, When one of you does not know whether he prayed three or four rakas, let him pray a raka, then prostrate twice after that when he is sitting. Then if he prayed five rakas, they would make his prayer even numbered. And if he had prayed four, then they will be a humiliation for Satan. An Nasai, 1239. There are four methods for the performing sajda sao. 1. Recite complete tashahud and before giving salutation, taslim salam, perform two prostrations and give salutation on either side. Bukhari, Muslim, two. After salutation performs two prostrations, in this case there will be no salutation after sahu, Bukhari, Muslim, three. After salutation performs sajda sahu and again give salam on either side, Bukhari, Muslim, four. Recite tashahud till end and perform two prostrations, then again start tashahud till the end and give a salutation to midi. Cases of Sajda Sao There are eight cases of Sajda Sao in Hadiths. 1. If in four Raka Salat, a person does not sit for tashahud and remember after reaching the next posture, then not to return, keep praying and complete it. Or if in first or third Raka sit for tashahud, then in both cases perform Sajda Sao at the end. 2. When a person doubts in the number of rakas, rukan pillar, that he prayed three or four, then consider three, complete salah, and perform prostrations. Three. If someone reduces the number of rakas and gives salutations, then perform the prostration of forgetfulness. Four. When someone exceeds the number of rakas, then without adding any raka, perform sajda sahu. Five. If doubt is in the number of sajda, then believe for a lesser one and perform prostrations for saho. 6. If Imam recites kirat in high voice in Zohar and ASR prayer or Maghrib, Isha and Fajr do it in a low voice due to forgetting. Then return to the original voice on remembrance and in the end, perform sajda sahu. 7. Someone recites Quran in Raku and sajda. 8. Forget to recite Quran after Surah Fatiha.